again. I'm Paulo Shikarian, CEO and co-founder of Syracon, and thanks again for joining me for another video. Today we're going to talk about strategies for scanning frequency with respect to vulnerability management. So the key question here is in an enterprise, how often should we scan for vulnerabilities? Well, there's a couple of approaches. So the first, pretty much most common approach, is periodic scanning of the entire enterprise. And what happens here is all of the systems in the enterprise are scanned on a periodic basis, normally quarterly. And this is suitable at times when the enterprise is small, so you can hit everything at once. Resources are constrained because normally when you're doing this massive of a scan, the frequency of the scan is less often. And we also see this many times when the scanning is done by an external agent, such as an MSSP. Now, of course, the drawback is if you're scanning the entire enterprise, as you gain more resources and sophistication and you want to increase the frequency, that becomes a little bit difficult. Which leads to the second approach, frequent periodic scans of various parts of the enterprise. And now here, the enterprise is looked in various subunits, normally subnets or subsidiaries and stuff like that. And each unit is scanned in a given time period. And normally this happens pretty quick usually weekly is what we see. Approach two is what we see as kind of the most common approach in more mature organizations. And it's suitable where you have uh, identifiable business units. The scanning timetables can be coordinated with the IT staff for action. And this is particularly important because if the IT staff can't keep up with the scans, it's not really helping very much. And also, too, the analysis and prioritization of the vulnerabilities has to occur quickly. And so the main drawback here is if the effort can't be coordinated, it isn't going to yield good results because you're not going to actually be improving security if the remediation can't keep up with the scans. Approach three is taking the second approach to the next level and what's called continuous scanning. Now here at any moment, there's some part of the enterprise being scanned. So it's constantly going on. And this is suitable where the vulnerability management team has the skills and resources to maintain this. The assets in the enterprise change quickly. So if you're in a place where people are adding or removing uh, systems at a frequent rate, different business units have authority to do so, it's very suitable in situations like that where asset visibility might be uh, limited. Now, of course, the drawback of this, in addition, you have the same coordination issue with approach two, you also need to be able to analyze and prioritize the vulnerabilities very quickly and at scale. And this leads to how threat intelligence impacts vulnerability scanning frequency. What we're going to talk about here is that if you're doing periodic scans and if your ability to analyze is greater than your ability to scan, you can still understand the changes to threat at times in between scans. And this is how this works. You maintain a list of the vulnerabilities from the scan, but now you update the intelligence associated with those vulnerabilities between the scanning times. And actions to take, well, basically here you're watching for when the intelligence is significant or there's evidence of an emerging exploit and you reprioritize on the fly. Now note you're reprioritizing not based on a new scan, but based on new intelligence. Now with all of these, the coordination is key. So we talked a lot about scanning and the timing for that, but if you change the frequency and cadence of your scanning, it's going to have a ripple effect through your entire vulnerability management program. So we already talked about analysis and prioritization. So if you're scanning less frequently, that's actually an opportunity to increase the frequency of your intelligence analysis. If you really ramp up your scans to the point of even being continuous, you gotta make sure you have the right resources available for analysis and prioritization. And finally, of course, coordination with the IT guys is key here 
because it's not going to do you any good to understand your vulnerabilities better if you can't do anything about it. And in many places, it ends up being the bottleneck and also drives decisions around frequency of scanning. Now, with Syracon, we support uh, various types of paradigms with our platform. Uh, we support periodic scanning, so if you're scanning every quarter or every month, regardless of how much of the enterprise, it's very easy in the web user interface to get results about what vulnerabilities are important. And also, once you upload that list of vulnerabilities, you can keep an eye on new intelligence that comes along about those vulnerabilities, even if you're not running a new scan. And of course, if you're doing something more sophisticated like continuous scanning, then our platform supports that as well through nice things like our API and SDK that allows you to get real-time updates about vulnerabilities pretty much as you identify the vuln itself. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. If you're interested in learning more, please visit us at our website.